All right, hey guys, it's Harrison here, and today we're gonna to be talking about names. So one of the most important things for trans people, especially ones that have a name that's either very masculine or very feminine, is choosing a new name and just vibing with a new identity. So I've been asked a question a lot on how I picked my name, why I chose Harrison and like how I got used to it. So I thought I'd make a video now that I feel meshed with my new name because that wasn't always the case. When I first came out as transgender, obviously my birth name was Haley and that really wasn't the masculine name that I was going for. Like I'm sure there's guys out there that are named Haley. Like I know the actor from like The Sixth Sense if you guys have seen that movie, is um, Haley Joel Osment. And like, yeah, I could have like rocked it and gone with it. I just never really felt connected to the name Haley. There was always a lot of Haley's in my class and like I just always wished that I had a different, more unique name so that I didn't have to share it with anybody. So when I came out as trans, I was like, oh, this is a great opportunity for me to pick this like new name, this new identity, it'll be so unique. I didn't want it to be too modern. I didn't want it to be too edgy because I wanted something that felt like me. So when I was making the decision, I wanted to have my initials the same. So my middle name is Mildred. <laughs> That's definitely not a masculine name. So I wanted those same initials, HMB. So I was kind of going through, there's not a ton of names that start with H that are male names, which I like. I was, I was really close to Hunter. I thought I was gonna pick Hunter, but somebody's middle name on my hockey team was named Hunter. And I was like, eh. I don't really wanna like have that be associated with my new name. Like I just wanted something that was totally fresh that I didn't really know anybody that had that name. So when I was younger, or maybe when I was in again about high school age, my sister would always call me Harry. I think she liked the actor Harrison Ford or something, but she would also she would always call me Harrison or Harry. And I found so much comfort in that when I was at home because they didn't know I, my family members didn't know I was transgender at the time, but having my name be something that was masculine, Harrison or Harry. It was so refreshing for me to hear that other than Haley, because every time somebody would say that, someone would call me by that name, I would just kind of cringe and be like, Ugh. Why do I have to have that name? So that was really nice for me to have that, to have just randomly my sister call me a masculine name. I don't know how it turned out that way. I was trying to find names that sounded like Haley. And Harry was something that sounded so close, like Haley, Harry, 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 like Haley, bleh, bleh, like say it like 20 times fast, it just kind of jumbles together. And Harrison, his short form is Harry. So I was like, you know what, that's, I think I'm gonna go with that name. And even though I chose it, and even though I was like, okay, this is my name, this is this is sweet, this is my new identity, I never really felt comfortable with it, like until this past year. I think a thing that trans guys forget or don't know is that when you pick a new name, it doesn't have to feel comfortable right away. Going by something that is different than what you've gone by for many years, for me, decades, I was going by the name Haley, and to just kind of switch it right away, it felt really weird for me. Like, it took me a year to get used to the name. Every time I would use it, because I didn't legally change my name, I still haven't legally changed my name. Every time that I would use Harrison, I'd be like, oh my gosh, are they gonna check my ID and see my name's like still Haley on my ID and wonder why I'm lying? I had like this like crazy fear about it all the time. Like, something as small as Starbucks asking me what name to write on a cup, I'd be like, Haley, because I didn't want to say my new name because I thought they'd check my ID, which is not the case. I think I got a lot of practice with my new name with like food orders and like drink orders where they'll just call out a random name. That was my first step in like going by Harrison to strangers was going to the local sandwich shop at my university and they would write your name on the sandwich. And I remember the first time I was like, Harrison, I felt so nervous but they wrote Harrison on the sandwich. Nothing happened, no big deal. They didn't check my ID. And that's when I felt more comfortable. I think this past year, everybody knows me as Harrison. And it's been really nice to have like reporters write reports on me with Harrison, like come up to me and say, hey Harrison. And like people always address me as Harrison now. It's, it's more strange for me to be called Haley. When someone accidentally calls me Haley, it feels like it did when people called me Harrison at the beginning. You will get comfortable, there's a shift. There's a waiting period that you need to go through. Start small, say your name to baristas or sandwich shop owners, or to your friends and your family, and then you'll be able to do it to everybody, honestly. The, easier, the easiest people to, to tell your new name is complete strangers, so just like, practice when some random person will be like, oh, hey, what's your name? Use your new name. 
don't feel weird about it because you have to get used to it. So yeah, so that's the reason why I chose Harrison and then obviously my middle name is Mildred. So I wanted to pick something that was a masculine version of that. And the first name that came to mind was Miller. So my new name is Harrison Miller Brown. Haley Mildred Brown. Harry, Harry Miller Brown. Like I just think it just flows. So I wanted to keep something along the same lines as my name. There's some people that just want to get rid of their dead name forever. Like they don't want any tie to it initial wise or sound wise. They want to pick a completely new name. It's your name. You can pick whatever you want and you can change your mind. I went through like three different names. I randomly chose like PETA when Hunger Games was big. And I was like, well, maybe I'd go by PETA. <laughs> <laughs> I went by Hunter, I went by Harrison and I just kind of circulated through the three and then found which one kind of vibed with me the best. That's really all I have name wise. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Learn something new about me and maybe find some tips on how to feel more comfortable with your new name if you decide to change it. But anyways, thanks for watching guys and take care.